Howdy everybody, I'm Stuffed on Crab Imperial, but I'm here today to warn you about Wizards! They're getting stronger! See, channeling has been updated again, and your favorite neighborhood wizard is that much stronger for it. By now, however, most of you have no clue about what's going on with spellcasting and magic, so let me break it down. Originally, in Core, you would channel the entire spell's total casting number, or CN, with each success reducing it by one until it reached zero when you were finally allowed to cast it. This put wizards in a weird, locked-in sort of state where once they started casting a spell, they couldn't stop. In Winds of Magic, they made it so that you could choose when to stop channeling, and take your accumulated SLs as a reduction to the spell's CN. This allowed casters to get spells off a smidge faster, and the addition of Robe Staffs, Spirit Cooking, and Scrolls made it that much easier for them. Now, however, with the latest book, Archives 3, wizards get their willpower bonus in SLs on every successful channel test. And they can hold on to that power for up to a minute without having to choose a spell before the magic starts to leak out and they start having to roll on the miscast table while losing their stored SLs every round. This means that an average human wizard with 30 willpower can cast Blast CN4 in a single channel test, provided they have a staff. If you think that's too powerful, well, someone at C7 agrees with you, and there are optional rules that limit the max SL one can store to three times their willpower bonus. Still though, that's nine SL an average wizard could walk around with for up to a minute. That's a free lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Please. Lightning bolt. Invisibility. Sam. Or greater fireball. You think that's bad? They can also use any excess success levels for overcasting. So, if that average human wizard with blast channels for an additional round, that's now damage 6, with an AoE of 3 squares. That's basically a slightly weaker blunderbuss with more range and better spread that just gets better and better the more you level. A third round of channeling, and that is now AoE 6 squares, making it a larger explosion than a bomb. Oh my god, JC, a bomb! So yeah, wizards are much better under these alternate channeling rules. Now, the great balancer to spellcasting in Warhammer has always been miscasting, often dramatically. <coughs> However, from how things are worded, I'm not sure if they made it rarer or more likely to miscast. And miscasting is honestly kind of lackluster and milk toast in 4th to begin with. The, the table isn't as crazy as 2nd editions. Perhaps they'll have a new one eventually, but in, in the meantime, hey. Please. No one's saying you can't just use the Zinch's Curse rules from 2nd? But, since you guys want my opinions, and it's finally somewhat legal for me to voice them again, here's my thoughts on how to balance wizards a bit, especially if you want to use these new channeling rules. For starters, add Fumble's miscast caveat to interruptions and combine all previous incarnations of interruptions. This means a wizard who is channeling but gets surprised will have to pass a cool test or miscast. Secondly, any area saturated with Dar will make any spellcaster casting anything other than Chaos or Necromantic Magic receive additional d10s on their casting roll relative to the saturation level. These dice, or Chaos dice as they are known, do not count for anything other than for fumbles and causing miscasts. One Chaos dice for normal saturation, two for heavy, and three for extreme. If that's not enough or just isn't to your liking, another thing one could do is make it so any spell cast with a CN of more than one's willpower bonus receives a Chaos dice, and anything with more CN than two times one willpower bonus receives two Chaos dice, and so on. I do have other ideas, each with their own pros and cons, but I'm trying to keep this video brief and I've already doubled the video length just giving my opinions. Also, keep in mind, it takes multiple turns to generate larger amounts of stored SL, and wizards are prone to distractions and interruptions during this time. Still though, outside of combat, this makes magic much easier, considering the natural plus 20 all skill checks receive when you aren't under duress. But what do you think about all this? Are these new rules too much? Were wizards already too powerful as they were with Winds of Magic? Is this not enough, or is this just the buff wizards needed to not be useless half the time due to flubbed rolls at critical moments? Let me know what you think in the comments below, or in the Discord, and we'll see each other again real soon. Bye!